What is up, people of the tube? I am Spaghetti Bread, and welcome back to Cooking with Spaghetti. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most exquisite soup in all the land. After I show you how to make this soup and you try it for yourselves, you're not going to be wanting to make another soup in your entire life. Now to get started with this exquisite soup, you are going to want to take a singular slice of whole grain bread and plant it in the bottom, such as so. Got it? Good. Now next step, you're going to take your peach cup, all right, just follow along with me, your peach cup that you get from like Walmart or something, and plant it right on the bread, just like that. Yummy dummy in my tummy. All right, boys. Let's make sure we get all the peaches in there. Next step. You're gonna want your guacamole sauce. Wow, guacamole sauce. Yes, sir. Take off your lid. Just sprinkle some, such as I do. Not too much, but just enough to cover the peaches, just as just shown. Now we're gonna get a little bit of fancy with it, chat. Now you want your crackers. You want some stuff. You know, crackers always goes really well with soup. So I got some pretzel, uh, peanut butter filled pretzels. We're gonna take about a nice decent little fingertip full and just keep putting them in. Just as that. Perfect. Now as you can see, the peanut butter pretzels are inside our soup. Next step. Oh, these, these are not opened. Oh. How do you open goldfish again? Just like that, I'm guessing? I think we did it. I think we did it, Chuck. Let's go! All right. We got our goldfish open. Once again, part two of the crackers. Definitely sprinkle some. Blasted flavor goldfish. Such as shown. Now this is where things get a little bit complicated. So you're gonna, gonna grab your butter knife. And what do you do with the butter knife? You cut butter. Yes. Brilliant chat. So take take your block of butter. We don't wanna use this whole butter thing. So we're just gonna slice ourselves off a piece about that size. Looks good. Drop it in the middle, such as so. Put your butter away. Just as so. Next step, what you're gonna wanna do is take your candy cane. It, it, oh, it's still in the wrapping, and my fingers are all buttery. This is not going to plan. All right. Anyway, who, you, who needs the wrapper? Who needs, who, who, who cares about the wrapper, really? Honestly, I don't. Take your banana, half peeled, drop it in there as well. Maybe you wanna peel this part, because honestly, banana peels just aren't that good. They're just not that good, chat. They're just not that good. Put that in there as well, and that is what it should end up looking like. Uh-oh, one piece fell out. That's fine, we could just stick it right back in there. That's what it should end up looking like, something like that. Next step, you're gonna wanna take your masher. And this is where it gets fun. Yeah. As you can see, while I'm mashing it all up in there, you can see the soup really starting to come together now. You're seeing the bread that we first put in, you're seeing the pretzels, you're seeing the goldfish, the candy cane, the banana, all of it is coming together. And it's looking really good. It's looking really, really good. Your peaches, all of that, in one canister of soup. Just as so. Now, anyway, chat. Boys, now that that stuff's out of the way, you gotta grab a spoon. Let me grab one real quick for you guys to show you how to do it. Grab a spoon, start stirring. Circular motion, chat. Circular motion. Circular motion. That way, 
all the pieces at the bottom come up that are unmushed and you can mush again. Yeah. Yeah, cha. Yes. We're getting in there. We're getting in there. Stir while you're doing it too. Yes. Nice. Nice. We're going to put this in the dishwasher. Yes. And that is it. We don't need to microwave it this time because honestly, it's already ready. And once you're done with that, you dig in. It's so good. It's so good, chat. So, I'm barely good.